Do you remember early on in your career going against a star player or a player you looked up to and you had a good game, but they also had a good game? And what did you learn from that? Damn, that's a good one. Um, if I'm being honest with you, Nate, shit, every, 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 man, the two that stand out to me, every, first off, every motherfucker that was supposed to be raw was raw. I pulled I'm, a couple of yours tickets. Man, listen, I got three right off the top. Michael Jordan, Elijah Wan, and Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley was unstoppable at 6'4". You hear what I'm saying what, to what, you? What's Charles Barkley you see? What, where was he at? I, 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 was, uh, I saw, um, damn, uh, man, hold on, I'm, I'm going blank. Uh, Houston. He was in Houston? Houston, but he was still facing up off the glass. You one dribble, ha, in the rim, two hand. Then he'll back you down for the whole 14 seconds. Seconds, right. So they started, the, you know what I'm saying? Because it started, you know, yeah, people were going to sleep on it and shit, so they wanted right. to quicken the game up. But Charles Barkley uh, had a motor. I, I caught Dominique, believe it or not. Magic and Dominique got caught at the end, at the total end, but they still was cold. Magic. You caught Mag Magic? Man, I played Magic in 96. Magic came, gave the nigga, gave the nigga Scott. For real? Man, listen, you hear what I'm saying? That's crazy. Played Magic, nigga. Played Dominique. He was at the Spurs. But the, but Damn, the three that that's, stand that's out, bro, it. was uh, Charles Barkley. Uh, Elijah Wan, when I played Dream, man, I didn't play him, but I'm playing against him. You know, I had a decent game, but man, I'm watching him. I was just, bro, his, bro, everything was impeccable. You know how to, you know, you know when it, you know this. You know, when you go up, you, you know, everything's aligned. Man, he, he was nothing, nothing. Everything was aligned, P. Yeah. Every yeah. move he gave, he didn't waste nothing. Like when he went at your shoulder, he spun, he was in the rim. Like I was just, I was fascinated by his, his science. The way he attacked front shoulder, back foot, front foot, like the way he did that, yeah. he, he was just precision. And then MJ. MJ was like watching something that- And hey, let me ask you something. When you stepped on that court with MJ, did he have, did he have a glow? I swear to God, he had the orange joint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, hey, listen, I'm not even laughing no, look, at so this. Look, you, ever, hold on, you ever look right. into the sun? I want to don't do this, but look into the sun. And if you look into the sun and look back at something, you're going to see like a green, right? <laughs> Man, listen. And you know, from North Carolina, to you hear that, that, Jordan, you're going to see the orange. Boy, listen, I'm in Chicago. <laughs> I hear it. The nigga walk out here, I swear to God, it seems like everything is stopped. This nigga is moving like in slow motion. Every motherfucker in here looking at him, and he right, know it. Right. Never seen a nigga on the stage like bro, bro. You know, MJ. So I had a chance to see Jordan uh, when I was at Kansas. They played an exhibition game at Kansas. Okay. Uh, exhibition or preseason? A, a preseason. Okay, okay. Preseason game at Kansas versus the Sonics. Hmm. So he came up in this suit. I swear. It was like looking into this light, dead into this light when he walked in the room, okay. and you couldn't like he was just glowing, like 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 Bruce Leroy, like <laughs> it was like damn that's that's Mike right there. I'm in college too, so I had a chance to shake his hand and take a picture with him. That, but I don't I don't know if I ever met another person like that in my life or or seen that, like mm. I can't even think of no other superstar whether it's sports or actor to where I saw them and was just like. It was like mesmerizing to just see them in person. And you got to meet Muhammad Ali in real life. Yeah, I did get to meet Muhammad Ali. He had a presence? That, that, yeah, he definitely. I forgot about that. Muhammad mm -hmm. had a presence. And, and, and actually, Muhammad, yeah, Muhammad Ali's Muhammad, presence? Muhammad Ali had a presence. I sat on the couch and I got a flick I with him. That. I seen that. You got that. That in was the crazy. Room. Yeah, that, that was, was crazy. Good. Yeah. That was crazy. That's to one of the dopest pictures you got, too, bro. Man, he was like sitting in there chopping it up for a quick second. That was at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. A lot of people thought he was gone, but when you got up on him and had some intimate conversations, he was actually very current and very yeah. there. He yeah. could speak. It was slow. You know what I'm saying? No, you know who else had a presence? I ain't going to lie. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder? You met Stevie Wonder yeah, before? Yeah, I met Stevie Wonder before. I went, to the, I went to his record st studio out there in Inglewood. Mm. Uh, uh, can you remember any players you played against? No players, was... though. No other players. Nobody? Nobody, I didn't say had the... The aura like that, but I'm saying, but you played, but had a good game, and you was like, damn, that motherfucker. I know David Robinson was a favorite. I know yeah, you love DR. Yeah, you know. A lot of people don't know that. A lot of people don't know. I love David Robinson so much that P won the dunk with his left hand. <laughs> That's why he, if y'all <laughs> notice, all P cold ass dunks is dunked on niggas with his left <laughs> hand. My left, huh? <laughs> I don't even know that. No, look, look. Uh, damn. Right. Nobody? I played against? I mean, just, you know, just rookie somebody year. we looked yeah, up. My and, rookie year? Yeah, like, hey, man, like. Like, man, he cold, like Shaq. Nah, nah, yeah, man, you know game. why? Because I played against him before all that. My, my moment was before I got to the league when I played against the Dream Team too. 
I played against Dream Team 2 in Detroit when I was in college on the USA team. Mm. We almost popped them. But That's when right. I was on the court working out, and I went down there and started, next thing you know, I'm shooting the Shaq right there, GP right there. I'm mm. like, Pippen right there. Mm. You know, damn, I'm like, damn. I think I was too wide-eyed then. Really? I was too wide-eyed. I wasn't ready for that. That was like my going in my sophomore year. I remember it that. Was in Detroit. Shaq blocked Tim Duncan's hook. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, remember dog. that shit? Yeah. I, was I like, thought damn. we was going to pop the dream team on no national way. TV. They hit the button on y'all ass. Hit the it was up a dub. I remember that. They hit the button on y'all ass. <laughs> hit the so button hold, on, hold on, y'all fellas. Slow hold down. on, y'all. But your let me first see. first David Robinson game is your second season because first year was uh, yeah. shortened season, so second year. So let me see. I have a matchup that had a good game that I look. I mean, it had to be Grand Hill, bro. Mm. Grand Hill. I emulated Grant Hill, actually. Mm. And he gave me buckets, bro. I think he might have gave me like 30. He kept getting me with that stutter cross. Right. I kept going for it every time. You know, he could do it both ways. Right, stutter right, cross. Right, the left, left, the right. <laughs> yeah. And finish, right. And my, man, he, I think he gave me about 30-something. That was like my rookie or second year. I was I was ready to like, damn. I, I was like thinking, was I even league mm. after that game? Word. I was like, man, am I league? Like, <laughs> like he, man, he, he, yeah, he, yeah. How was your matchups with Big Dog? Oh, yeah, I messed up with Big Dog. We go at it. Big Dog was tough. Big Dog was tough. Big Dog. You know who else that people don't talk about? Big Dog and Jamal Mashburn. Oh, I forgot about Bro. Monster Mash. Jamal Listen, Mashburn. Nobody talk about them Jamal too, Mashburn might have had the best crossover that I've ever had. The guard. Dog, that was, that Lord, was tough. One of the harder crossovers to guard was that DC crossover. If everybody remember the DC crossover, it kind of was high. Yeah. And it, and it shifted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> listen, Allen Iverson, Tyreek Turner, uh, C- Curtis Staples, yeah. all the Virginia boys made the DC crossover. I remember that. Along with DC made it. But they, the cross used to be up here. And, and, and I don't, I don't, it, 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 it was it, something it, crazy. It, I, don't, yeah, I, can't yeah, even, yeah. I can't even articulate they, they just lean this way. It was a weird nobody one. was doing it like nobody that. Nobody was doing it like this. But, but Jamal got, Mashburn from the DC cats, right. not only put strength and brute and agility with it, but then he had a jump shot to come out of it with. Like, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and right. listen, most guys who go right to left, pulling up left, when they go right, they're going to drive. So left to, left to right, they don't even pull up, right? Man, he had uh, both ways. Man, Maul Mashburn is probably one of the most underrated players yeah, for sure. in our history, bro. He was, sure. he was a nightmare. I had to guard that Maul. He played yeah. three and four. Yeah. For Ooh, sure, Mashburn was had a three ball. He had three ball in the 2000s, early 90s. Yeah, he was. A you hear me? And he can post your ass up, six eight, six nine. Had yeah. a fadeaway. You couldn't even get to it. He was just put in the air. Uh uh, young fella. Uh uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, he shout the monster mash, man. One of the coldest, man. Big dog. Shout the LJ, man. One of the coldest. Goddamn, uh, 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 big dog, man. One of the coldest, man. Straight up. Man, First listen. game against Mashburn, uh, buzzer beater by Antoine Walker to win the game. Oh, we got him. I don't know if you remember that. But Damn. Yeah, I believe you had 14 in the game and he had 13. Uh, so oh, my you, rookie year? Yeah, rookie year, Jamal Ooh. Mashburn. The first matchup you had against the Heat, uh, Mash didn't play. And then the second game, this oh, he was, was the, oh, heat the result. He, yeah. didn't he didn't get to see that. He didn't get to see that Dallas. No, Dallas. He didn't get to see that Dallas Mashburn. Wait, what about, did he play in Charlotte? No, he played in Charlotte. He played in Charlotte later. Yeah, later. I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, later. I'm talking about early on when he was in giving giving the Bulls 50. Oh, right. Remember right. that? Whew. Dallas Mashburn, huh? The ones I pulled for you ticket uh, that that stood out to me were you had a good game and then the, the other great player had a good game. Jordan, you mentioned uh, Gary Payton was another big one. He had 32 in the game. And then, oh, yeah. Uh, GP used to always kill the T-Bulls. And man. then uh, the Utah Jazz, a game oh, that yeah, you won, uh, you had 20 in the game. And... Uh, Malone had 33 in the game. Now, that was rookie year? Yeah, that was rookie, Damn. rookie ticket. You guys, you rookie Malone, ticket gave the mailman dub out of high Malone school. Malone was on some, listen, 